Hey guys, what's up everyone? So most of you out there are really passionate and really highly skilled at what you do. But the problem is, is that in order to make money, you're focusing on completely the wrong thing. Let's talk about that in today's show. Well, hello everyone, good morning and welcome to Bridal Business TV where I help hairstylists and makeup artists book more brides. And today I want to talk to you about where you're focusing your efforts because a lot of you are so highly skilled and highly trained and you focus a lot on your craft and that's great and I think everyone should have an obsession in life I think everyone should have an obsession a focus and something that they really truly love and enjoy the problem is is that if you focus on that skill that craft it's never going to make you any money so I want you to listen to to sort of what I'm saying here when it comes to uh, building your business so if you want to build a business and you want to create money for that business, in other words, you want to um, earn maybe eventually a really high, uh, a high paid income, focusing on your skill and how good you are at your skill and perfecting the latest hairstyling technique or makeup uh, technique, it's not gonna make you money. What you need to concentrate on is how to market that skill, how to sell that skill. Because if you can't sell that skill to the right people, you know, at the right time and in the right place, then it's never gonna make you money. So I wanna look at, um, I guess, kind of, you need to look at your business as a, as kind of like an art um, as well as a science. So the art is the things that we do within a business. It's how we make it look good, how we make it uh, look pretty, right? How we um, present ourselves, how we present our business, our branding, um, the, the skill that we actually do. But then the science behind your business is how do I now get my business out there to actually be able to make money from it, right? So there's a couple of things that we need to look at in that respect. So first of all, when it comes to your art, I, I, look, I 100% believe that you need to be making money, that you need to be um, taking classes and you need to be, um, you need to be learning and honing in on your skill and you really need to be keeping up with the trends. Absolutely, you should definitely do that. But the problem is, is that those skills and those trends are only gonna take you so far because how are you then going to be able, th those skills, just by getting those skills doesn't mean suddenly you can put your prices up, right? Just because you've taken um, a class with someone um, just because you've taken a class with someone doesn't mean that suddenly you can now, um, you know, charge a higher fee because you know, you've taken this, you've taken this class and they were like this world famous hairstylist and this world famous makeup artist. And so now can I put my prices up? Brides don't care. Brides don't care that you've got this, um, this skill, this, you know, as, as long as they look at and think that you can do what you say you're going to do and you can make them look amazing. They don't care who you trained with. They don't, because most of the time you've got to think as well that unless you're in our world, um, these experts, nobody knows them but us. So why would that, you know, just because you've taken a class with one of these experts doesn't suddenly make you, um, doesn't, doesn't make you the expert in, uh, in marketing your skill. I know this is a bit of a, um, a different kind of, um, I know this is a different kind of show today, guys, but I want you to think about this. I want you to think about the fact that your skill, yes, you have to be good at your skill in order to be able to give yourself and build yourself a really awesome reputation. But in order to um, 
in order to actually get paid for your skill, you have to learn how to market it. If you don't learn how to sell your skill, how to sell your product, how to sell your services, you're never going to make any money. Does that make sense? So what do we do? Well, we either, most of us will spend money on our education. So we'll have, um, we'll have a budget every year that we, that we spend uh, money on our education, right? What I'm saying is, is that you need to have a budget to learn how to work on your business, to how to then with that skill that you've just learned, you need to be able to have a budget to say, I need to learn now how to sell what I've just learned to my customers. You know what? If you can't, and if you can't learn it yourself, if you think to yourself, this is just something I just can't do, then triple that budget and pay somebody else to do it. Because if you don't learn to get your skill out there, you're never ever going to grow in your business. You're always gonna be playing small and you're always gonna be earning just the, the cap. Your skill is only gonna get you so far. Right? The ability, the reason why people charge, you know, crazy mega prices is because they are everywhere, right? Because they become uh, like a commodity rather than a, uh, a business. People, people, they have people wanting them and so therefore they can charge whatever they want because they're so highly desired, not because of their amazing skill, because their skill might not be any better sometimes than anyone else. It's the fact of they are able to sell themselves as the expert. They have learned or they have bought a team in and around them that helps them, you know, get their word out there, get into the schools and teach, um, get out onto the stage and um, and speak. They've got, you know, they've written books, they've got books out there, they're selling them on Amazon. These people, the reason why they get paid, the reason why we have top, you know, six-figure stylists, six figure makeup artist seven figure some people they, they you know they they're building they're building empires they're building companies they're building products services books um you know uh courses they've got um workshops the reason why we pay they they've earned the the money is is not because they have just, you know, learnt the, na the latest skill or the latest technique. They've learnt to sell that technique. Think about what you see as well. Think about those amazing, uh, some of them amazing, I think a lot of them are, are Russian um, hairstylists out there. Take, um, who have we got that's really amazing? I've seen, uh, is it Georgie, Georgie Cott, I wanna say? Um, but but there's some amazing, right? Some amazing, amazing hairstylists. And they do these, fat, they pull the hair and they do these fantastic things. And yes, their skill is amazing, right? But what is it that brings people to their classes? The fact that they've created a video <clears throat> and then with that video, they've learned how to sell that video to their potential customers. It's not if they didn't know how to do the selling part, they didn't know how to do the marketing part of actually being able to get what they're good at out there, they would never make any money. So you need to understand the fact that when you have a skill, it's not the skill that makes you money, it's how you sell the skill that makes you money, right? It's how you market yourself, your business, and how you actually um, present that skill. So here's the thing. If you go on to a hair and makeup course, if you go to a, a hair and makeup course and you learn something new and you think, wow, that's made me a lot more confident, I'm really good at what I do, now you've got to learn how to show that to potential clients. And that's not just through taking just some crappy snap. You know, just taking one photo of one, you know, one hairstyle is not gonna get it out there. The next thing you gotta do is you gotta, you know, get on camera, you gotta show them how you do it. It. show them why you're charging what you're charging right because it takes time you know you may sit and record something for an hour and a half to two hours that's why you're charging three hundred dollars for a hair up because it takes time because you know you're using hair extensions you're using hair padding but you're you're selling your skills 
skill. They're not buying your skill. They're buying, you know, they're paying, they're not paying for your skill as such. They're paying for your expertise, your authority, as well as your skill. And you're not going to get, you're not going to make money if you don't learn how to sell your skill. You can spend all the money that you want on making yourself the best hairstylist, the best makeup artist. That's great. But if you don't know how to get your skill out to the paying public, you're never going to make money. So if you're concentrating every year on the fact of I've put money aside every year to for my education budget, then you're wasting your money. Because yes, okay, you want to keep up with your education, but your education should also be how can I sell my business? How can I get the word out there? And this is why as well that when you get to a point where you are um, really busy and you are always bringing in clients and um, you're having to even to turn away clients, what a fantastic thing to be in. That is where I got to when I was at my full capacity. I was turning work away because personally, physically, I'm one person and I can't be in, you know, three, I can't be in three different wedding places at once. So at that point, what do you do in your business? Well, there's a couple of things you do. Number one, you could stay exactly as you are. You could perhaps um, contract in staff, which is fine, um, so that you can then expand, absolutely. Or you can double your prices. And in which case you double your price and then people go, oh, but if I, you know, if I, if I double my prices, Dawn, um, you know, I'm going to lose, I'm going to, I'm not going to attract as many people. Yeah, but you've doubled your prices. So even if you lose half, even if you only get half the amount of people that you got last year, then you're doing half the amount of work for the same amount of money. And then you've, what have you done then? You've opened up time, right? What do we, what do we want? Time and money. Two things that everyone wants in business, time and money. People say, I haven't got enough time or I haven't got enough money. And yet, if you think about it, if you are now busy and you're able to, and you're obviously doing a great job then of, market, of, of marketing your services and getting, your, getting the word out there about your business, which is obviously what you've done in order to have built up this reputation. And then hopefully as well that you're bringing this in through referral because you've done such an excellent job, the great position to be in. Then what you do is, yes, okay, you can take on a team if you want to and you can expand outwards. That is one way of doing it. And I would never tell you that that's not the right way of doing it. You can, if you want to start building a team, taking on more. If, if you're happy with where you are and you feel like, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to keep doing what I'm doing, but, but I don't wanna do any more. I don't wanna do any less. So, but I still wanna make a bit more money. So um, I'm gonna contract a team. That's fine, you can absolutely do that. Or what you do is you say, you know what? I'm putting my prices up. I'm gonna be the most expensive person around because people know me now and they know my skills and they know how amazing I am in my business and, and the reason why people are referring others to me. So therefore, even if I do half as many weddings this year as I did last year, I'm still getting paid exactly the same because I've doubled my prices from last year. So what I've done is then I've filled, I've created a whole load of time. So now I'm doing half the amount of, I did 50 weddings last year and I got paid 50 grand. Let's just, you know, thousand for thousand, right? 50 weddings last year, I got paid 50 grand. This year I'm doing 25 weddings, but I'm still getting paid 50 grand. But I've got then 25 weekends free where I can be doing other things. I could be at home with my family or I could be out with friends or I could be looking at generating more revenue by doing something completely different. Um, or I could be expanding my business, pursuing a hobby, whatever it is that you want to do with that time that you've just saved. So again, you have to think about selling your business, selling your skill, not just spending money. Yes, okay, we need to be good at what we do because if you can't, if, if it's not reflected in the outcome, then um, no matter how much marketing and stuff you do, you'll, you know, people will come to you, get bad reviews, and then, you know, you'll never you'll never be able to take off with your business. So yes, you still have to be highly skilled. And we all are. We, that's what we all go to college for. That's what we all go to um, to university for, to um, uh, cosmetology school, beauty school, whatever it is that you did to get wherever you are. 
you need to be skilled at what you do, absolutely. But the skill isn't what makes you money. The skill is what you do, how you sell yourself to your clients, how you sell yourself to brides is what makes you money. And that is where you need to focus your time on. It's great to be skilled, yes. But if you're, you could be the most highly skilled person, if you can't get your thoughts and your and your techniques out to the world, you're never gonna make any money. It does not make you money. Focus your time on the right area. You need to learn how to market yourself. I'm not saying you need to be the world's best at social media, the world's best at videos, or the world's best at um, Facebook ads, but you need to know enough to be dangerous, okay? You need to know enough to say, you know what? I can do this by myself right now, um, but now I'm getting busier because I've learned to market myself. Some of that needs to be taken away from me and that's when you look at hiring other people to do it. And I see a lot of um, stylists saying, you know, how I, I would love somebody to manage my social media or I'd really love someone to um, manage, you know, do run some ads for me. The problem that you've got there is that how do you know that people aren't kind of ripping you off in a way? You need to be able to understand enough first before you pass that on. I'm not saying that there's not some, you know, obviously amazing and genuine companies out there and there's people that I use um, for different parts of my business because I know that they're good. But I, if something happened, I know I could do it myself. Um, certainly when it comes to my podcast, I learned how to upload my podcast into iTunes. I learned how to do my show notes. I learned how to edit my uh, podcast, how to put my intro and outro on. Like it takes me so much time to do that. Hence, you haven't had a podcast from me in a little bit of time. Um, but I know how to do it. The best thing for me to do though is to be able to give that to somebody else to do for me because, you know, but I but I know it. If that person then disappeared, you know, and and um something happened to that person, I know that I could take it on. So those of you who are, you know, thinking to yourself, oh, it'll just be so much easier if I just gave that to somebody else to do, I don't blame me for that at all. But first of all, learn the basics yourself. Learn how to market yourself first before you then pass it on to someone else. If it then becomes to a point where you think, I just don't have time for this, but I'm earning enough money now to pass it on to someone else, do it. Absolutely do it. All right, guys, I've been a little bit of a soapbox today. I hope that that has made you have a little bit of think, change your mindset in a way as to... Um, how you should think about spending your time when it comes to growing your business. Um, that is it for today. Please come back again um, next time. Um, and don't forget to contact me, Dawn at Bridal Business School, if you have any questions or queries. You can hit me up um, as a DM on Facebook over on the Bridal Business School Facebook page. All right, guys, I shall see you again soon. Bye for now.